Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you didn't catch our video last Friday, we made a second attempt at the 24 hour challenge. We tried to do a dipped look on this piece and it turned out pretty nice. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. As promised, today we're flipping an entire dining table set. This piece was solid wood, but it had been used as a bit of a crafts table. So it was covered in paint splatter and scratches and in desperate need of a makeover. When it comes to flipping furniture for profit, dining tables are not ideal because they take such a long time to refinish, definitely longer than most pieces of furniture. However, we had gotten this piece for free, so we felt it was worth giving it a try. We started off by stripping the varnish off of the top. And then we came in to do some sanding to really finish the job. It took a lot of sanding so that we could expose that raw wood underneath, but it was definitely worth it. You can see here we were really starting to get that pale wood look that we were going for. And while Julian was doing that, I was thoroughly cleaning the chairs to get ready for prepping. Then we brought our table in. And we just wiped away all the dust and gave her a good clean. You can watch it drying here and you can really see that pale wood color that we were going for start to poke through. And once she was all dry, we were ready to come in with our top coats. So we were going to paint the rest of the piece in Algonquin by Fusion Mineral and then the top of the table would get a whitewashing stain. So when it comes to top coats, they do tend to darken the wood quite a bit and they really bring out some of those yellow tones that we just did not want. So here we are applying our pre-stain and once that dried, we came in with the whitewashing. We ended up applying the whitewash twice with a quick sand with 220 grit in between coats. So this was after the first application. Just wiping away the excess and then we came in with our second application. Once our top was all finished, it was ready to move on to the chairs. So we scuff sanded absolutely every surface of these chairs. It takes a long time, but that's just the reality of flipping a dining table set. We then brought them downstairs into our workshop so that we could start painting. The paintbrush that we use, um, I will have it linked below because we love this paintbrush. It's quite expensive, but it's worth it in our opinion. We've tried using others and they're just not the same. When it comes to painting this dining set, I really appreciated how the bristles are shorter and yet the brush is very wide. So it's easy to maneuver and yet it covers a wide area at the same time. So you can see a side-by-side -side comparison here after I had painted our first chair. And while I continued painting the chairs, Julian was painting the table legs in the garage. And then we had some time to kill as we waited for that first coat to dry. And then we could head in and apply our second coat. So let's take a look here again at our before. Definitely very outdated, very messy. And here is our after. We decided to include these little cushions that we felt complemented the style of the table well. We love the way the whitewashed top turned out. Now when it comes to pricing dining sets, a general rule of thumb is to price them for around $100 a chair. However, we listed this piece for just $360 and it ended up selling for full price within uh, about a week of listing it. So that concludes today's video. We really appreciate you guys for watching and make sure to check back next week to find out what we're gonna be flipping next.